Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Uniform circular motion. This session is uh, about uh, the practice question what. A 15 kilogram car run a circular turn of radius 80 meter on an icy flat road with a speed of 50 km per hour. It is safe if the coefficient of static friction between the tires and the rows is 0.15. If not, how fast can the car be driven at most to keep the car safe? So this question is talking about a car is run a circular turn Let's first draw a free body diagram. For example, this is a, a circular turn, circular road, and a car car here. And the free body diagram is as we know, gravity always when to go down. And normal force. In this situation, because the question given us information is icy flat low. That's what the flat means. The normal force and the gravity is on the same vertical line, which is there is no component uh, on the other side. The normal force and the gravity balanced. I right, one is. Uh, Vertical down, the other is vertical up. That's why flat low. And the car doing circular motion. So as we know, static friction is very useful. Static friction keep people walking for forward and also keep the car turn around. So the static friction is point to the center of the circle. We're going this way, the center of circle over here. So that's why this situation, the centripetal force is come from static friction. But in the on the IC row, the coefficient of static friction is really small, 0 0.15, sometimes even small. So this situation to limit the, the car speed. So that's why they ask for, in this situation, if the coefficient is 0 0.15 and the car is driven at 50 km per hour. So first we have to calculate the maximum static friction that can be support the car doing around a circular motion, so the velocity, right? So first we calculate the maximum static friction. The formula is mu s times normal force. So in this situation, normal force equal gravity. That's why we can it's 0 0.15 multiply Normal force is equal mg, which is 15 kilogram and times 9.8 meter per second squared. So this gives us the maximum static friction. We got the, after calculate, we got 2,205 newton. And also, the maximum static friction in this situation because they're looking for how fast can the car be driven at the most. They're looking for the maximum velocity, maximum speed, which is when the car driven is around a circle, they say. So that's why we use this one as centripetal force. So the centripetal force is equals 
maximum static friction, which you call 2,205 Newton. That's why we can use this information to find the velocity, and then we compare this one. So the formula calculate is centripetal force because centripetal force equals to m times v squared over r. And this question because we're looking for the maximum velocity, so that's why this is a, the maximum centripetal force which is come from static friction. Right? That's why we can uh, manipulate the form because we we have the maximum static friction which is supposed to be the centripetal force, we have mass, we have radius. This is a 15 mass, 1500 kilogram mass, this is a 80 is R. So we first manipulate the formula. We have V squared equals to the centripetal force times R divided by M because you can see the M is multiplied V squared and after manipulation is on the bottom, right? And then we got V equals square root of this one So now go to the other page. The maximum this way we have V maximum in this question we have this one is maximum friction which is acting as centripetal force multiply the radius divided the n. So then we plug number E because static friction maximum static friction we calculate is 2205 Newton R equals 80 meter and mass equals 1500 kilogram and we can calculate this one. So maximum speed equals square root. This one is 2205 Newton multiply 80 meter divided by 1500 Q. So this calculation after calculate, we got maximum speed equal because from this one Newton meter and the kilogram, the speed is meter per second. We got the 10.8 meter per second. Then we convert to kilogram, a uh, kilometer per hour. We can do this is 10.8 meter per second. <coughs> we multiply a converging factor because we need we need to calculate two converging factors to get the answer finally is kilometer per hour. So that's why we see kilometer we need to key, keep kilometer that's why we have kilometer on the top and meter on the bottom so the meter meter can be cancelled. 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meter. And we need the hour on the bottom, hour on the bottom, so second on the top, so that they can be canceled out. So what is 1 hour equals 3,600 seconds, because 1 hour is 60 minutes, 1 minute equals 60 seconds. So 60 times 60 is 3,600. That situation cancel this zero, cancel this zero. So actually this 10, it will make 3.6, right? This one is 3.6. That's why 10.8 multiplied 3.6, we got 10.8 multiplied 
we're going 39 kilometer per hour. So now <coughs> this car is driven at 50, so the maximum is 39. So obviously 50 kilometer per hour is not safe. So this is not safe. When velocity equal 50 kilometer per hour, this is definitely not safe. Even 39 is the maximum. It still is at a critical situation, right? But the, because I put the 0 0.15, static friction sum maybe is less. The, if the static friction is really super, and the static friction is uh, maybe less than 0 0.15 so still not safe so it's better to drive when you run a circular turn make sure it's slowing down even for me that's 30 km per hour or even some depend on your experience right at least this question help you know first at the on the flat row, the static friction is the only force to be support doing circular motion, acting as centripetal force. Okay, this is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.